What's up guys, Brandon Havrilla from Red Max Events. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the iPad Photo Booth series with Brandon Havrilla. Today we're taking a look at a new printing option or a new print server option for your iPad Photo Booth business. Uh, if you guys haven't checked out the most recent video in this series, uh, you can visit the link down in the description below. Check out that video. Basically in that video I cover how to print with an iPad Photo Booth using a computer of some kind and a print server which usually comes with your software and then a Wi-Fi network either your house Wi-Fi network or the built-in one. Now it's been a little while since I posted a video in the series because I've been experimenting with some new products and today I have two new products they both fall in the same family uh, and they both have to do with print servers but it's called the AirConv and the AirConv 2.0. This is the AirConv right here, and this is the AirConv 2.0. The main difference is that the 2.0 can do both two gigahertz and five gigahertz. Essentially, that means there's faster printing involved, but we'll get into that a little bit later. First, I wanna start by giving you guys the link of where you guys can purchase this. If you guys are interested in finding out more information or you're looking to purchase one of these units, you can visit photoboothemporium.com slash shop, and that's where you'll see these devices along with some of the other stuff they sell, but you guys could check that out on your own if you're interested in pricing, all that kind of information. I'll also have a link down below this video if you guys wanna just click there and browse it while you're listening to this video. Now, what is the AirCom? Both the 2.0 and the original one have some similarities. Now they are both devices that are meant to replace your computer, your print server, and your Wi-Fi network. So it's eliminating three steps in one device. For most of this video, I'm just gonna speak about this one here, which is the AirConv, the original one. It's got a USB Wi-Fi antenna. This is gonna create its own Wi-Fi network, which means you don't need an external Wi-Fi router to print like my last video. The cool feature with this is that you can still connect to an external Wi-Fi device or venue Wi-Fi in addition to this, allowing your texts and emails to send out. I'm gonna show you guys what it takes to actually get this thing up and running, but basically there are two wires that come out of this along with the antenna itself, and all together, that is it. There's no PC required, there's no software required, it's all built in, and you can actually visit the IP address of this device on the website once you're connected to it. You can do it right on your iPad. And once you connect to that IP address, you'll be able to control settings, printer settings, two by six strips, uh, you know, different variables of your printer once you're connected. Now that's it for the AirConv, the original one, but now the 2.0. So the 2.0 has two devices that come with it, and you have these antennas too that simply unscrew. This is your main device right here. The other one is the one with the antennas. That's just your Wi-Fi extender, um, if you wanna call it something like that. Basically what it is is it's where your antennas are and it connects with a simple USB cable to the main device itself. This is what allows for your 5G network. This 2.0 version allows for faster printer spooling, which essentially means faster printing. The 2.0 also features a metal enclosure as opposed to the original one, which is a plastic enclosure. The metal enclosure also has two brackets or wings, if you will, off the side of it, which allows it to be easily mounted inside a case, inside a photo booth, anything like that. You could also throw Velcro on the back of it and Velcro it right into your photo booth. The 2.0 also features a new web interface, a little more user-friendly, a uh, few improvements as well in the web interface once you visit the IP address. Now, I just want to mention, I did notice on their website that both these devices, the original one and the 2.0, are free shipping worldwide. So that's definitely something to check out if you're looking for one of these devices. Now these things couldn't be easier to set up. For this first video, I'm just gonna be showing you how to set up the original one, but the same steps apply for the 2.0. Now there's really only four steps you need to do to get this up and running. And the fifth or additional step would be if you wanna to connect to an external Wi-Fi network, you can do that in the IP address. But prior to that, to get this thing up and running with the printer, which we're gonna do right now with this iPad, just from the camera roll, there's only four steps. The first one would be to grab your USB cable that comes out of your printer which I have right here. And we're gonna plug that into the device itself. So right on the back side, there's four USB ports. You can pick any one. One of them's gonna be taken up by your Wi-Fi antenna, but you can plug right into any other one. The second step would be to power everything up. So if you haven't already, run a power cable to your printer, flip the switch on, and then you're gonna to wanna to grab one of the included USB power cables for the AirConv device itself. 
you can simply plug that in. Now you will notice it's probably hard to see on the camera, but there are small LEDs inside the grill next to the power, which allow you to see that it's getting power. The device does take a minute or two sometimes to get fully recognized by the iPad or by your Wi-Fi search in your iPhone, iPad, computer, anything like that. So just keep that in mind. Once you plug it in, give it a few seconds before you start browsing for it. The third step is to connect your iPad or whatever device you're using to the Aircom device. Now you're gonna do that in the normal Wi-Fi settings. So what I'm gonna do is close out of here. I'm gonna go into the settings part of the app, click on Wi-Fi, wait for it to load the list of available networks. And there it is. You can see it took a second than the rest of the networks, but it's there. And I renamed mine. You can go into the IP address and rename it, re, you know, create a password, whatever you want to do with it. Um, but I named it Redmax Aircom V Photo Booth 1. This way my guys know exactly which device it is. What we're going to do is select that. Now you'll notice mine automatically connected, but if you do get prompted for a password, which you will when it comes right out of the box, if you flip up the device right on the back side here, is your password and device information. Like I said, you could also change that in the IP address. If you do change it, I recommend grabbing a quick label maker, printing out labels with the ID and password, putting it right on the bottom. This way you always know what it is in case you forget. Once you're connected to the device, that's it. The fourth and final step is just to send a print to it. I'm gonna open up my camera roll on my iPad. I've got a picture here from an old photo booth event I did. I'm gonna go to the share button, go to the print option, and select the printer. Now you'll see mine defaulted from it because I was playing with this earlier, but you'll have two options here. It'll say the AirConf and it'll have the IP address or the you know model number after it. And then you'll see I have two options here. I have a four by six or a two times two by six, which is gonna have the printer cut it into two strips. What I'm gonna do is select the four by six because this is a four by six print. You could choose black and white number of copies. That's all just in the camera roll, but if you're using a PhotoBoost software, it's the same thing. You're just gonna go into the PhotoBoost software's printer settings and select the AirConf as the device. I'm gonna select print. It's gonna go back to the camera roll and you'll notice in a few seconds, the printer is gonna start up. There it goes. You'll notice it might take a few more seconds to get started or initiate the process of printing than it did with our Pipo and our computer. It is a little bit slower, however, you're eliminating almost three devices with just one. And there we go, there's the print. There's the printout that was right there. So as you can see, it's super easy to set up. It's a great way to print from an AirPrint enabled device. And it eliminates the PC, it eliminates needing the Wi-Fi. And like I said, you can just go to your Safari browser and you know type in the IP address and adjust different settings and parameters as well as enter your Wi-Fi network. So once again, all in all, this is a great solution. If you're looking for a main system for your iPad photo booth to print, this is super easy, super user friendly. And as you saw in the other video, there is other options out there as well. I always recommend having a backup and I always recommend having a backup that is a different system. It doesn't rely on the same technology or the same internet or anything like that. So whether you make this your backup device or you make this your main device and you get a Pipo and you know a Wi-Fi router as your main device or backup device, uh, it's always good to have the two different systems. In case for some reason this stops working or in case for some reason the other one stops working, you have a different system that is completely unrelated and it's still reliable. Once again, guys, this is the AirConv and the AirConv 2.0 from Photo Booth Emporium. Make sure you guys check out the link down below. Visit their website for more information. As always, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed.